right, everybody, it's 5.30 on April the 4th, not March the 4th. <clears throat> Just making my way out of our lodge room, heading to the trail. I'm going to get in about 15 today. I'm going all the way back to Lewis Campground. wife will pick me up and then we'll enjoy the rest of the day together a lot of y'all were commenting on the weather yesterday and let me tell you man <clears throat> again we're at Skyland Resort Lodge and our building is up on a ridge line and I'm telling you hurricane force winds blowing through here last night it was nasty we still had a good time we uh, went to the lodge ate some expensive food I had this gourmet burger which was 100% grass-fed beef huge burger had this is weird I know blackberry jam bacon relish or something on it a fried egg some kind of cheese on a pretzel bun Sarge it was good the beef was unbelievable had french fries and uh hey guess what blackberry cobbler a la mode with vanilla ice cream for seven bucks but it was fabulous as well my wife had a turkey dressing mashed potatoes hers is really good too so <clears throat> it was a good night i was exhausted went back and had to prep for this morning um, she brought all my new kit, so I've got all my Gossamer gear packed today. It's got very little in it. <clears throat> Just trying to see, get the waist belt and everything comfortable. Right now it's feeling good. Um, there's no doubt that I'm giving up ventilation on my back, and I know that. <clears throat> but there's reasons why I'm going to this rut. And again, if I don't like it, or if it starts getting on my nerves the uh the osprey will be back in the mail and i have two osprey rucks by the way i've got another one at home too so i've got options this gossamer gear is really nice so all right plan for today again going south back to lewis campground i'm going to finish these miles off she's going to come pick me up hopefully around 10 o'clock um, and then we're going to go down to Luray and go to the outdoor fitter. I'm going to get some insoles for uh, these shoes. Probably get the green super feet for narrow heels and uh, go from there. I don't know if y'all can see the city down there. Probably not. It's gorgeous. Our room, the view from our room at Skyline is looking right down into Luray. It is gorgeous. All right, here we go. I know some people just don't like night hiking, hiking, but this is awesome. And I know this ain't coming through as good on the camera as it does in real time, but I love it. All right, y'all, water was really scarce at times up to Lewis Mountain Campground, but since I've been heading south out of, um, Skyland, and I know it just poured last night, so I take that into account. But man, there are some really good water sources, so hopefully, it stays the same for everybody as they get past Lewis and they start heading north. Hopefully, these water sources won't dry up. This is a great one. 648, still on March 4th, day 48, and uh, man, this track between Skyland. And Lewis Campground is rocky, man. Like, it is pretty bad. There's some good spots, but so far, for the most part, I don't know how far I've been. Probably five miles, maybe, at the most. Yeah, it's pretty rocky and slick because it just rained. And there's a threat of rain coming in just for a little while here in a minute. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, shout out to Eagle Mountain Mom. That's her youtube handle or google handle uh which is my mom 
she is at home she's sending us pictures and it's awesome but uh she also made and sent just this giant tupperware dish of breakfast cookies healthy ones like uh you know oatmeal raisin oh they're delicious man and she also made what she's calling power bars um which are like rice krispies flaxseed peanut butter butter and man so good look i'm gonna look forward to those so i was gonna go stoveless but i don't think i am now because i don't want to miss having coffee in the morning hot coffee in the morning with those they're great so i will probably start the stoveless after the halfway point when my wife and son come back up <clears throat> so anyway thanks mom they are fabulous and i know that took a while to make all those all right still heading uh southbound today not crazy about going southbound but it was just the best way to do it without my wife having to get up at 4 30 with me to drive me back down here to lewis so we'll do it one day move back to the north tomorrow um also met about 30 minutes ago met a silver girl who used to be little toe but it, she's changed her name since she started she started on february 2nd out of springer and she's doing She's doing really good, man. I haven't seen a lot about her at all in my whole journey up here, so it's always interesting to meet new nobos who I haven't heard of or seen much in the journals and whatnot. And she looks like she's going extremely uh, ultralight, so probably why she's doing so dang good. All right, y'all. Hope uh, Tuesday's going well. Keep sending the comments in. Um, and, uh, we'll take you with, to Luray with us today. No sunrise this morning because of the clouds. But there are some really good views in between. These are the best views I've seen in Shenandoah. I'm liking this northern part better than the southern part. Very nice. Gorgeous. I get what y'all see now. All right, y'all. My special shout out of the day, day 48, March the, uh, there I go again, April the 4th, is to Noah Copeland. Noah buddy, uh, your pap pap told me that you watch every morning with him at breakfast, getting ready to go to school, and uh, man, that made me smile. I met him and your mama when they came up here to do trail magic, and I just want to give you a shout out, buddy, and I appreciate that you're, uh, you're an avid watcher, and I appreciate you joining me in this journey to get up to Katahdin. You stick with me the whole way. Hopefully, I'll keep it interesting for you. And, uh, yeah, just know that you got a great pat pat and a great mama. All right, buddy. Thanks for watching, man. So, I was just running down the trail. I'm trying to run a little bit of the flat parts in the downhill, and I turn around. And there's three deer running down the trail right behind me, following me. And they're still checking me out. This place is cool. Y'all can't be following me. Yeah, y'all can. Come on, let's go. Alright, y'all. It's 10.07. Started at 5 30. Uh, 16.5 miles right now, and I'm back at the, at the uh, Lewis Mountain Campground. Teresa's gonna get here at 10 30. That gives me a little time to go get me a banana moon pie and a cocoa. That's what we're gonna do. All right, we'll catch up with y'all. We go to town. Whoo! See, I just can't come out and slap pack and take it easy. My dumb AWS had to start running to make it challenging. Now I'm more out. I'll be alright though. Alright y'all. Yeah, before I forget, um, so I came southbound from Skyland to Lewis, which feels dirty by the way. I don't like it. That'll be hopefully the only time I have to do it. Unless maybe I have to do it again when my family comes up. But uh, when you're going northbound, you leave out of Lewis. 
Um, you're gonna hit some rocks around there, bear fence, mountain, or whatever it is. And the track's really good till you get past the big meadow, and then you're gonna hit rocks sporadically for sure. Yeah. All right, it's a good track though. 16.5 and four and a half hours, I'll take it. All right, y'all. So the question is, early riser. How do you finish off a 16.5 mile hike slash run? The answer is Cherry Pepsi and Moon Pie. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a big Pepsi fan. These, This is pretty good though. But clearly if they had Cherry or uh, Vanilla Coke, I'd be all over it. Alright y'all, catch up with y'all in the ray. By the way y'all, this is the view from our balcony in our lodge room. Unreal. Gorgeous. Crazy cool. There, Miss Early Riser. There she is. He made me carry all the hard stuff. We'll get back with y'all when we go down to Luray. All right, y'all. We're heading through, heading uh, north through Shenandoah. We're gonna go down to Luray and we'll go check out the outfitter they have down there. I heard they're pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna ask my wife a couple of questions real quick. Mrs. Early Riser. Yeah, no, that's true. All right, babe. So, up to this point, day 48, how has the experience been for you back home? Mm, nothing's changed back home. Everything's still the same. Still fast. Still crazy. And we just try to fit this in, too. So what she just basically said there is, I do nothing at home because nothing has changed. No, 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 no. What I said pretty was... Pretty much what she just said. What I had said was that we just have to cover that. That's why it makes it That's not what faster. you said, but I appreciate that. I said nothing's changed. Everything still has to get done. That's not what I... Okay, no, that makes sense. <sighs> All right, so um, what's the most... What's the scariest thing about this YouTube channel blowing up a little bit to you? think it's scary really I mean it's weird but I don't think it's scary why weird because our life is quiet and besides our families and a few friends we don't you know we just have a quiet peaceful life so but it's not scary what because up? everybody's as long as everybody's positive do you read all the comments no, not all of them. So, I mean, as many as I can, but there's not always time to, you know, read all of them. What do you feel when you're starting to read them for most of the audience? Because it is very positive. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I like that everybody's supporting you, and, and I think that's helping you get through this. Does it help you get A through lot? it? Um, yeah, yeah, it, I mean, it does, because we have so much connection. Of course, we have that extra connection off off of this line, but when we just want to catch up on your day and be with you, we can just turn this on anytime. And for the most part, everybody's been so sweet and so supportive to you that, that it's inspiring for us, and, and hopefully whatever you're doing is, is helping somebody else who wants to walk the trail and so we enjoy it we enjoy listening all right a couple of them kind of got my redneck going a little bit but we just decided to ignore them and um, focus on all the good people so yeah, yeah we bought these people anyway yeah all right y'all miss early riser might have some more questions for her later so maybe you wrecked this car. All right, y'all. We just uh, went into Luray, went and got. I got some uh, green super feet for my new shoes. Because being 14s, man, my feet slide around in there a little bit. So I went with the greens to narrow the heel cup down a little bit, let my heel be a little more stabilized. So now we're heading back to the lodge. Oh, we went and ate Mexican too, of course. So I had to get two beef burritos again. Still not over them. I still could eat them again tomorrow and the next day. 
and I had a Dr. Pepper there, and I've drank about four sodas today. Spielberg just commented about his soda addiction, and I told him, yeah, man, I don't know how I'm going to get this monkey off my back at the end of this, because I'm loving him. Um, and then me and my wife were talking, and then she was saying, you know, if you ask me again what the hardest thing about this trail was, and then she brought up something, I was like, man, that is something that probably every spouse of a through hiker would like to hear and it's not the same for everybody but um this is what she said <laughs> well i before you asked me what did i think was the hardest part of you doing those videos and that's not the same thing but now that she corrected since me so yesterday. now she can answer another one <laughs> since yesterday i the hardest part of this whole experience was actually seeing him yesterday for the first time in 50 days or so um and why wow. because you look like this trail has beat up on you way way hard and it was a little bit it took me back a little bit because not to mention all the weight loss that's big but your hands are all tore up, your feet are all tore up, you got even cut the ear and all that. And I know it's not anything life-threatening or dangerous, but dang, kind of like a POW or a homeless man or something. I mean, you look a total different person than left our house on February 15th, so. That was hard, that was hard to see. And it's okay, I get it, it's, it's part of it, and he'll be just fine and there's nothing wrong that will be fixed and I'm thankful for that but yeah that was tough to see that uh, and you know you know I know you've lost, you've lost a lot of weight and all this but to actually walk in and see it standing there it's kind of tough to see so that yeah, was hard she also saw me when I just got done walking 27 miles because she got there a little yeah. later than we had planned so I was can't only going to do can't hardly walk <laughs> I was going to do 20 miles yesterday, and then she didn't get there till a little bit later, so I said to hell with it and just kept walking and went ahead and did 27, which I'm thankful for. But what I told her and what we talked about today was, when your body adapts, though, even though my body looks rough, it does. Um, like, I was, I could barely walk in the room last night, and my feet were all jacked up, and then this morning, I could run down the trail. I ran for probably 6 out of the 16.5 miles that I did today. Of course, I had very little in my pack besides the basic necessities we've talked about before on here. Um, but man, I feel great every day, so it's amazing how the body adapts and can keep going. And that's what we're going to do all the way till uh, we're standing on a big rock kissing the sign. Again, this is a view from our deck at the lodge. Unreal. So fortunate.